I got an email in June of 2019 asking me if I would like to visit Mukti. And my first response was no. The reason I was invited was because my husband and I had started to sponsor a girl named Asha when she was 12 years old. We sponsored her until she was out of college and married to one of the ministers at Mukti. And then we decided to sponsor two other girls who were teenagers. My husband, who is usually very reluctant, is the one who said, why would you not go and meet our girls face to face? So after much prayer and coaxing and asking God that I really shouldn't be doing this, he basically said to me in two different sermons, I didn't put you here to eat and sleep and take up space. I put you here to go and be a minister to the world. I got to meet my teenagers that we had been sponsoring and they came to see me every day when they finished work and school and we got to, to talk and, and know each other, sometimes in some broken English, but it was still beautiful. And Asha, who is now a teacher, at Mukti came to visit me and stayed in my room talking to me for a long time, telling me about her life, and then invited me to dinner at her house with Prasad, her husband, and her house mother, who had raised her from the time she was two years old and brought to Mukti. She's a blessing to me, even now. She and I communicate through Messenger. The same little girl who had brought my luggage to my room for me on day one and followed me the rest of the week sent me a homemade card and, and a homemade envelope and two bracelets. And a le the, her letter said, I love you and I love Jesus and would you please pray for my school work? So when I came home, I told my husband, we have another daughter. <laughs> So we have another sponsor over there. So it, it did make a difference for those little girls. And they do know that someone in another country cares about them.